Welcome back, warriors. This week's lupus life hack topic triggers the lupus flare ups that surround us daily and what to replace them with to prevent these flare ups that drag us down. If you're a lupus life hacker, thanks so much for coming back. Thank you for your support. If you're new and you want to stay in the now to decreasing lupus symptoms, make sure to subscribe and click on that bell. Let's dive in. Do you wonder why you have the butterfly rash, mouth ulcers, have debilitating fatigue or chronic pain throughout your body? Do these symptoms that make you feel like you're just in a flare 24 seven? Here are three things that make lupus symptoms worse. Your hair products. Now when you're going to the store and you're buying a hair product, you think that, oh, it's just, you know, it's helping clean my hair. It's helping keeping my hair styled, but which it does. But what we're not thinking about is all the other stuff that's in it. For example, did you know that companies can list the term fragrance in the ingredients without telling you exactly what's in it? Fragrances are added to shampoo, body wash, soap, and beauty products. However, cosmetic companies don't have to legally disclose what's in the fragrance because they, it could be proprietary blood. And that would give away their secret sauce. But that secret sauce is actually what's contributing to all your symptoms, especially if you have hair, scalp dryness, sores, stuff like that. Did you know that fragrances and perfumes emit VOCs or volatile organic compounds, formaldehyde and other toxic chemicals? Some of these have actually been linked to cancer. Products that are labeled unscented may still contain fragrances with masking agents. Masking agents, an example of that would be phthalate, which are known as endocrine disruptors. And if you have lupus, endocrine system is not working the way it's supposed to. Some of these fragrances are linked to allergic reactions, whether they're subtle rashes or not, or they're severe asthma and migraine headaches. Endocrine disrupting chemicals are something that sometimes mimic human estrogen causing a hormone imbalance for both men and women. Several studies have actually shown that are chemicals that are known to alter the metabolism, and that means that it can actually cause weight gain. And it, not even that it causes weight gain, but it's contributing to the fact that you can't lose weight, even if you're eating healthy. It's also been linked to the increased risk of breast cancer. Another thing that you could find is for SLES, or SLS, you, you might commonly see that abbreviation. These are in shampoos, soaps, and cleansers. Although these are pretty safe by themselves, during production they may be contaminated. Because of possible skin irritations, Cosmetic Ingredient Review Board recommends SLS should not be used in exceeds of 1% in any product that's applied to the skin. Another one is retinol, or retinol palmitate, and retinol acetate. These are forms of vitamin A, that's why it sounds familiar, but they're not safe to put on your skin. A few studies have actually found that when retinol palm palmitate, or retinol is applied to the skin that was exposed to UV light, it broke down into harmful byproducts, including ROF, or reaction oxygen species. This causes damage to your cellular DNA, and it can even cause cell death and when cell death occurs at the wrong moment in between the cell's lifespan that's what can trigger other genes or other cells to be expressed or not expressed and it's messing up the natural process of your body so if you're suffering from hair loss or you have sores on your hair or very dry scalp that's making you lose your hair thinning hair highly recommend um, hair gain why it's only made with five organic five ingredients five ingredients that are natural to our grape seed oil organic castor oil avocado oil rosehip oil jamaican black castor oil and these together were chosen specifically this is something that i made myself and that i've been using and it's worked so well and in, in treating the hair loss giving me the shine back to my hair it helps it grow so long i get compliments from hairstylists about the hair color and they ask me what color i'm choosing but it's my natural hair color. It just brings out this vibrance to it. And it's just so healthy. And you to be able to have the same thing. And that's where I started producing it. It's made in small batches to ensure clean cleanliness and equality. This is the hair gain. It's natural, chemical free, whole pressed organic castor oil. So there's no processing or heated treatments to it. There's no fragrance, no additives. That's it, simple. It's only available on Lupus Health Shop. I'll put a link below. It's very cost effective. It lasts a couple of months and it's super easy to use. 
Now when we're talking about skin products and supplements, there are some chemicals that you should avoid as well. BHA, this is a preservative. It affects neurological, the neurological system of the brain. It can alter behavior and it has potential to cause cancer. It's added to foods too. Did you know that International Cancer Agency categorizes this as a possible human carcinogen and somehow it's still in our products? It's also listed as a carcinogen under California's Proposition 65. It doesn't mean it's not gonna be sold anywhere else. In fact, I recently bought a table from TJ Maxx and it has a sticker on it that says made with known carcinogens that are known to California's Proposition 65. So it's, this stuff is still being sold everywhere. Do you know what coal tar is used in shampoos? It contains hundreds of polyaromatic hydrocarbons, PHA. It's used in anti-dandruff shampoo and in creams that treat skin conditions like psoriasis. Studies found that coal tar led to skin lung and liver cancers in rat as well as DNA mutation. Cold tar is something that blocks the skin's pores and it increases skin sensitivity to light. Many colors that are used in cosmetics were months made from cold tar surprisingly. It's also used in supplements too. It's not listed in the ingredients, it's just used during the process. Many hair dyes that contain coal tar dyes are usually called DNC or FDNC followed by a number like DNC Red 33. This is also in food. And just because everything causes cancer doesn't mean you should avoid it. It means we should be strict on what we buy and we should have higher standards for our body and what companies are selling from us. Remember, these companies are billionaires and they're making money off of our sickness. It's important to start speaking up. One of my biggest things that I always try to stay away from is high fructose corn syrup, artificial sweeteners like aspartame or anything like it. Aspartame attaches to your cells and it crosses the blood brain barrier, creating toxic overstimulant. And sucralose, this is commonly used too. Did you know that it can disrupt 50% of your gut bacteria? Your gut bacteria is what makes up your immune system. So if it's destroying all the good bacteria or even bad bacteria, it's not in that right balance. We're gonna have a lot of gut problems and a lot of autoimmune diseases and a lot of food sensitivities. What you see so far, subscribe and click on the bell so you don't miss out next week on our new video. Now back to the topic of the week. Stay away from those. The best advice I could ever give you would be to read the ingredients before you read nutritional labels. It doesn't matter about the nutritional value because if you're reading the ingredients like this, then you're going to be eating healthy food anyway. The less ingredients in a product, the better it is. Plus, if you didn't know, legally, companies have to write the ingredients from largest to smallest quantities of what they use. So if your first ingredient is water, high fructose corn syrup, or any artificial flavors or preservatives, that means the majority of that product is made of that. If they're marketing to you that you're drinking like an aloe juice, but the, but the aloe leaf is listed towards the bottom, you want to stay away from that product. Since the 1950s, the number of food additives allowed in the U.S. went 800 to more than 10,000, and they're not even tested properly or even tested at all. These chemicals are made to make them sell easier. Nobody wants to eat meat that's not pink and juicy, right? Nobody wants to buy an apple that isn't perfect color red. Those are from GMOs, um, usually, and other chemicals. Nobody wants to eat a product that's not bright, bright green. See so that aloe juice, or maybe if you want to eat something that has red dye in it, it's not the perfect color red, we'll add more dyes to it. It's just for marketing and to make us, us consumers buy more of it. Three things. This is a term called GRAS, generally recognized as safe. This is a loophole created in the 1950s. Food companies are tasked with determining their own status for their own ingredients. So obviously they're gonna say that their food is great and that it's safe. Once an additive is granted for GRAS status by an industry, by an industry hired panel, the company doesn't even need to inform the FDA that the ingredient is used and no independent third party objective study is ever done. It's not even required. What can you do about it? Stop supporting companies that don't care about your health. Buy real food and organic as much as possible. Only buy products from places that have vocalized that they care and they've proved it by products that they give you. Example, of course, Lucas Health Shop. That is the entire reason of our existence. Another example is Thrive Market. Other examples would be Whole Food or Feel Right places that are your local. Stay away from any chain like Rite Aid, CVS, and stuff like that. Sounds like all of these things have a few things in common. Chemicals. Because of this flawed and weak enforcement, 
of the chemicals that are in our products. They're just not adequately tested and they're never proven to be safe. If you've struggled with knowing how to find good products while shopping, keep watching my videos and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. I talk about this stuff all the time. The holidays are coming up everyone and it's a struggle not to flare up. Next week, I'm gonna tell you exactly how I prevent flare ups during the holidays. Until then, check out these videos to learn more about how to decrease lupus symptoms and how to get the best out of life, even with lupus. Subs if you loved it, thumbs if you liked it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week.